Have you ever pondered the captivating complexities of life and how it perpetuates itself? Why do some organisms choose to reproduce on their own, while others prefer a partner? Today we dive into the fascinating world of reproduction, exploring the distinct mechanisms of asexual and sexual reproduction. First, let's delve into asexual reproduction, a process that is, in essence, a biological copy-paste operation. Here, a type of cell division known as mitosis takes center stage. Mitosis occurs in the body cells and results in two identical daughter cells, each bearing the same number of chromosomes as the parent. This form of reproduction does not introduce significant genetic variation. Instead, it results in offspring genetically identical to the parent, a perfect replica, if you will. This process is commonly seen in bacteria, plants that reproduce via runners or tubers, and certain animals such as the hydra. Asexual reproduction boasts several advantages. It is often faster, bypassing the complexities of finding a mate and producing gametes. It also ensures the retention of favorable traits as offspring are genetic clones of the parent. Moreover, it is energy efficient, sparing organisms the need to invest in mate attraction, courtship, or the production of gametes. This method thrives in stable environments where conditions remain consistent. However, asexual reproduction is not without its disadvantages. The lack of genetic diversity can hinder adaptability to changing environments. Additionally, asexual populations may be more vulnerable to diseases or environmental changes that affect all individuals similarly. Over time, harmful mutations can accumulate without the benefit of genetic recombination to weed them out, limiting the potential for evolutionary adaptation. Now, let's turn our attention to sexual reproduction, which involves a different kind of cell division, meiosis. This process occurs in sexually reproducing organisms and produces gametes, such as sperm and egg cells, each with half the chromosome number of the parent cell. Through processes like crossing over and random assortment of chromosomes, meiosis introduces genetic diversity, leading to the formation of genetically unique individuals. This is evident during the formation of eggs and sperm in animals and spore formation in plants. In summary, while asexual reproduction offers rapid reproduction, energy efficiency, and consistency, it lacks genetic diversity, making it vulnerable to environmental changes and limiting evolutionary potential. On the other hand, sexual reproduction, though more complex, introduces genetic diversity, leading to the formation of genetically unique individuals and offers greater evolutionary potential. Each form of reproduction with its unique set of advantages and disadvantages, plays a critical role in the perpetuation of life as we know it. So the next time you see a sprouting plant or a newborn animal, take a moment to appreciate the remarkable mechanisms at work.